What if I told you that with one Google Sheets function, you can fully understand all of your spending? This is my go-to tool for seeing exactly how much I've spent on what. And with it, you can create super helpful visuals and get a crystal clear picture on your exact spending habits. So in this video, I'm going to show you what function to learn, exactly how to use it, and how to automate as much as possible so you have a super simple system to categorize your spending. To start, the function that makes all of this possible is the sum ifs function. But why this function? Well, let's say that you've got some spending data in Google Sheets. You've assigned a specific category to each transaction, but just looking at it like this doesn't tell you a lot. How much did you spend on food? What about fun? Really, you have no idea. You've made it this far with your tracking, but what do you do now? Well, if you learn the sum ifs function, you can automatically calculate the totals for each category. Then that makes it possible to create charts like this that give you a clear picture on everything. So how do you actually learn and use this function? Well, let me show you the steps that you need to take to make it work for you. If you don't already have categories assigned to each transaction, then you need to start there. Once you do, step number one is to type in the category that you want a total for. If you want the totals for every category, then list all of them. And pro tip, if you want to quickly list all of the unique categories in one go, then enter equals, the unique function, select the data in the category column, close parentheses, and press enter. That adds all of the categories for you. Now for step three, you'll finally add the sum ifs function. For the very first argument, select the amounts, then once you have, add dollar signs to make this an absolute reference. This keeps the reference from changing when we copy the formula to the other categories here in a little bit. For the second argument, select the data under the category column. Once again, add dollar signs to make this an absolute reference. Finally, for the last argument, select the category, then close parentheses and press enter. Now, the sum as function looks at the amounts and then adds together those with a category matching the value here in cell F3. You then just use the fill handle to copy the formula down for all the other categories. And that's really all there is to it. But how do you set this up so that everything continues to calculate automatically even if you add new data to this list later on? Here's what you do. Go back to the formula for the first category and remove the second row number in the first reference. And do this to the second reference as well. This forces each reference to now reference the entire column. And that's what we want because any new data added to the list now will be included in the calculations. And of course, once again, copy the formula down with the fill handle. Also, if you plan on adding new categories to the list as well, and you used the unique function to list them like I did here, then delete the last row number so that this formula references the whole column as well. And now you can just log your spending once and the calculations stay completely up to date. Plus, you can also take this data and use it to create charts that clearly display how you've spent your hard earned cash. Now, I can hear you say, but Ryan, what if I also want to categorize my spending by date as well? What if I want to apply this analysis to a specific month or year? What should I do? Well, you want to do this. Somewhere in your spreadsheet, type in a start date and an end date. This represents the period that you want to analyze. Then make sure you have everything else set up just like before. You're going to use the sum ifs function once again, but there will be a little more to it this time. Just like before, reference the amount range, then the category range, and reference the first category. Now, from here, we will add two more pairs of arguments. We will check the date range against both the start date and the end date. So first, select the date range, 
leave off the last row number to reference the whole column and make it an absolute reference. Then for the next argument, which is the check that we're running, type in quote greater than equals quote ampersand i2. This checks to see which dates in the date range are greater than or equal to the date in i2, or in other words, on or after the date in i2. And the way sumifs works, you have to put comparison operators like this in quotes and attach any references to it with an ampersand. Also, you want to add dollar signs to make the i2 reference absolute so it doesn't change. Now, after this argument, select the dates once again and make it an absolute reference. And then for the final argument, enter quote less than equal to quote ampersand J3. This checks to see which dates in the date range are on or before the date in cell J3. Be sure to add dollar signs to lock the J3 reference, then close parentheses and press enter. Then just use the fill handle to copy the formula down. And now when you adjust the start and end dates to check for a specific period, all of the category totals update automatically. So now you know how to categorize your spending in Google Sheets with just one function. But what if you're like me and you want a more step-by-step -step approach to building a pro-level expense tracker in just 10 minutes? Then watch this video next where I walk you through the whole build from beginning to end.